Last week, it became evident that there was going to be some profit taking as we saw the evening star signal form in the Dow at the top of the trend channel, giving us a good prospect that the pullback could bring the Dow back down to the bottom of the trend channel. As we saw today, there was continued selling from Friday that took the market all the way down to the bottom of this channel. But the important factor of knowing the difference between whether this was telling you there was a major reversal in the market or whether it was just profit-taking pullback was the analysis that the selling today was offset, but that even though the Dow closed down 29 points on the day, it closed above where it opened, which indicated there was buying, and it closed back up above the T-line. The same scenario applied to the NASDAQ when it got up toward the top of the channel. Today it pulled all the way back to where it hit the T-line and bounced back up. There's one basic factor, or one statistic that is very uh, functional using the T-line. The probabilities remain extremely strong that as long as you stay above the T-line, your uptrend is in progress. What changes an uptrend is seeing a sell signal and a close below the T-line. Using that factor allows an investor to keep from getting anxious about their positions. Notice what's happened in Apple. Came up, did a sideways trend, actually closed below the T-line, came back up above the T-line. So if you were buying on this breakout right here, what was your trading strategy? You really didn't need one other than a simple rule that as long as it stays above the T-line, you can stay long. Most investors think, boy, I've got a profit. I better take a profit before I lose it. Candlestick analysis allows you to maintain a position based upon those simple applications of the T-line in indicator to tell you to continue to stay long until you see that definite sell signal. The T-line can also be used for setting up patterns. Western Digital, after a very strong price move, did some consolidation. You can see kind of the rounding bottom J-hook pattern. Note what it did today. It bounced off the T-line and closed up above the breakout level, indicating a good probability that wave three, which is the same magnitude as wave one, is now in progress. An important factor about the T-line is nobody has the T-line on their charts. It acts like a natural support and resistance level of human nature. So the fact that the price came right back smack dab to the T-line was not because it came right back to a level everybody is watching, since nobody has it on their chart. It acts like a natural support level, allowing investors to take advantage and, and better identify when a pattern is showing lots of strength. A J-hook pattern is much more amplified or uh, illustrated when the T-line acts as support. As you can see in the chart of DDD, strong price move, a pull back to the T-line, now coming back up, a high probability that wave three could be starting same magnitude as wave one. Because human nature works the same way time after time, the Japanese rice traders allow us to take advantage of the, the uh, analysis they've done over 400 years to show us what actually happens in human nature when creating patterns and showing where support and resistance levels are uh, creating uh, high profit pattern setups. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.